I just spend so much time creating these very precisely crafted moments. And so to have the opportunity to really see and hear those realized is just like a dream come true. Elizabeth and I have worked on basically, I think, every single orchestral piece that she has written. So in that sense, I know very well her voice, her way of writing for orchestras, her soundscape, her imagination, and colors that she's looking for. So I anyway always have this in mind that, you know, if I ever gonna record, I need to include her music. So when this opportunity came, I thought actually, you know, I wanted to do all these lighted things. This is the first time All These Lighted Things is being recorded, um, and it's been a, just a really exciting experience for me. This has been the first time that I've really had an opportunity to kind of sink into kind of ensemble qualities that are possible in the orchestra. In this case, I have no boundaries, I have no history, no big giants I need to think about, and only the composer sitting with me, and literally, it would just, you know, go wild. And I love that freedom. There were a few moments Elizabeth was like, oh, I did not think about that. Let's change it. I like, oh, I like this, you know? So you're sort of contributing to the creation itself, and that is so cool. Members of the orchestra have been so generous in terms of uh, like really refining little details. The best thing as a composer is when musicians uh, in an ensemble say, oh, what if I did this? And then they try something totally new. That kind of brings the piece to life in a way that's really personal to an ensemble. And so there's just been a lot of that happening. You know, we were trying different tempo. We were trying you know, different volumes. There were this place that she wrote for the woodwinds to play super high, but like, pianininissimo. And it was quite impossible because the woodwinds were like, but this is really the softest. So, but then she was like, yeah, but she was really aiming for this, you know, falling of like melting of, of soundscape. And that's when you can say, okay, then I think the mics need to help or like, how can we change things in the moment to fit with her imagination. So you still feel that you are writing the piece in a way. I hope that when uh, people hear all these lighted things, they'll feel a sense of joy. And I also really hope that it puts into perspective just the range of unbelievably cool sounds and colors that uh, are possible in the orchestra. This is the version now that we got to in the end, and it may still live, you know, who knows? <laughs>